we can create images from 10 drones to a thousand drones. And so it gives us a huge toolkit in terms of what we can do. I think we are inherently put into the same bracket as fireworks because we're in the sky <laughs> and making kind of big images. We saw um, upwards of 10,000 reports last year from uh, emergency rooms nationwide. Uh, anything from you know burns to uh, tragedies. Uh, we had 12 deaths last year. The loud bangs and the crashes and everything else is what builds the theater of that, that piece, whereas we're not silent by any stretch. You have the, the, the buzz of the motors and you, you kind of, we sound like a swarm of bees in that sense when we're flying, but we're, we're constant on, on a level in that. So if you have a noise sensitive area, then obviously you don't have any issues. Whereas we're having a bit of a moment, whereas fireworks have had a moment for, you know, hundreds of years. It allows you to tell a story. And I think that's the biggest strength that we have. When I see it fly and see that first big reveal, you know you've got something amazing then because it's, it's just like, whoa. We have a a cleaner footprint. So we're flying on battery technology. Um, we reuse, obviously our fleet is maintained and resourced and there is no waste product when we fly in that. seen any total hard swaps we've normally seen a, an addition so like london new year's eve is, is a great example it's been pure fireworks for i don't know 10 15 years or something like that it's, this year they wanted to move it into the drone space so we went in with a, a fleet of 300 and yes there were less fireworks but they were still there and the two interplay because you're still in i think a very transitional period at the moment where people still have a lot of love for that technology and rightly so you know i'm a big fan of it myself i think the future of it is really exciting you know talk to us in a, a year's time and it, it we might have jumped on another another few chapters <laughs>